not always about your job role, it's about you as an individual. Young people do that because they want to see how far their social is willing to go. We have to help these young people prepare for real life. You know what, there's more to us than just kicking a football and just rapping. Yes. As a black man, I can be educated. Yo, people. Mm -hmm. What are you saying, people? Welcome back. Mm -hmm. It's another episode of The Social Worker and The Mentor. Mm -hmm. What are you saying, man? I'm there, you know, brother. Yeah, man. Hey, bruv. Do you know what? Yeah, just... You know what, yeah, mm. I, bruv, I, I'm chilled, I'm chilled, you know. Yeah, man. I'm so chilled, I'm so chilled. Yeah. Bruv, the year's going fast, you know. The year's going quick. Mad. Do you know, that's why I always say, right, yeah, like, um, you know, there are some, okay, so there are some people that talk and there are some people that do. Yeah. Please be a person that do because, listen, before you blink, it's going to be March. Yeah. And you're going to be thinking, rah, all the plans I had to do in February, so in January, they've got yeah. now because it's now March. It's true. It's crazy, man. It's but, true, um, it's true, yeah. it's true. But how you been though? You've been all I'm right. Good. Listen, I keep saying I'm good. Like, you know, sometimes you see a person, oh, how you doing? Oh, yeah. No, 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 I'm good. Yeah, bro. I'm even good. me, like, I, I'm, I'm in a very, very, very good space, bro. Yeah, I'm very, good, very, man. very good space. Good. Um, but people, guys, listen, thank you so much for continuing to change the social worker and the mentor mm -hmm. um, podcast. Um, wait. No, no, wait, wait, wait. wait, hang, wait hang on a minute. Wait, uh, wait. No, let's not be rude. How are you guys? How are you? Oh yeah, 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 exactly, yeah. How are you? How are you guys? Are you guys good? Are you? How are you feeling? Goals? How's work? Um, any issues? How's family? How's yeah. friends? How's your goals and targets? How's twenty twenty four going for you? Yeah, man. Do you know what I mean? Don't be slacking. Nah, don't be slacking. Honestly, <laughs> yeah. But honestly, listen, guys. I mean, just thank you so much for your support. Mm. Really hope everyone is doing good. Yeah, yeah. Um, wait, 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 wait. Did you hear that? Listen, it's free, you know, and they're still not doing wait, it. Wait, wait, guys. Like, do you, like, listen. You should see it right here, mm. yeah, or on your screen right below, the little like, subscribe, and share button. And, and, yeah, like, you know, just that's all lift, you gotta do. No, 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 lift yeah. up the hand. Yeah, ding, ding, and that's, that's all you gotta do. That like, subscribe, it. and share. Listen, you know where me and Robert are mm. on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, <laughs> Apple, Spotify, mm. Patreon, Apple. I said Apple twice, you know. Look at that. Twitter as well. Mm. I need to start tweeting a bit more, you know. I know. I need to start tweeting a bit more. A bit more interaction. A bit more interaction with that, yeah, yeah. you know. And also, guys, as well. Um, Got to have to do some polls as well. We need some polls. Yeah. Also, we're going to be doing a live episode, a live stream. Yeah, live stream. Very, very soon. Yeah. So look out for the episode. Yeah, look out for it. Yeah. But Rob, um, I wanted to talk about a very, very deep topic. Mm. Um, I think as black men, it's, it's very, very good that we're here. We're black professionals, yeah. um, black male social worker, black yeah. mentor. Whether Rob actually as black men do we need um therapy? Mm. Um very, very, very deep and important topic. Yeah. Um because I think um in general, mm. on a wider scale, um there's times about I think as black men we don't always have the the space to um kind of talk on our emotions. Yeah. And sometimes that manifests a lot in our behavior, mm. um, you know, as black men and kind of transcends in terms of how we are, our work, our yeah. interaction with our families, mm. um, our partners, and if we have children as well. This is it. But what's your take, Rob, on it and whether black men, because I, I bothered you, my view is that I do think that black men, I do think we need to have therapy. All right. So. And like I said, people, this is a very, very deep conversation. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Take us as professional out of it. But as black men, what's just what's your thoughts, Rob, on us? Um, all right, so I've gone to therapy, and um, it was a necessity. But one thing I would say right here is um, I, I don't want this to come across in in, in a in the wrong way. But thank goodness for COVID. And what I mean by that, I don't mean actually what happened. Thank. What I mean by that is that COVID, um, it unscrambled, it unearthed, it caused sp specific things to happen that needed to happen. There's always been trauma there. There's always been mental health there. There's always been a lot of negative, toxic things that's happening with families. And on a personal level with black men, there's a lot of things that's always been taking place. Mm. Now, if you think about the black man, you know, we're black men, uh, masculine, strong. Athletic. Leaders, athletic, yeah. Um, you're not allowed to talk about um, crying. You're not allowed to talk about if you're having a bad day because you're strong, yeah? In the family household, 
in the African and Caribbean household, um, we're known as leaders strong. I remember growing up, um, uh, my granddad would look after, so my granddad would, um, my granddad would work and then my grand would be the one that would be just, just at home looking after the children mm. because that's what society or that was the way back home in Jamaica at the time, right? Yeah. Mm. But then, you know, time changes and then obviously, um, uh, things change. So obviously the man then, and then obviously, you know, we, we, you know, we're both born here. If you think about the UK, you think about the world war, you know, um, in 1940, 1921, there's, you know, two world wars, even as men. Nah, what are you crying for? Cry? Mm. You can't cry, mm. right? If you cry, you're known to be a failure and it means you're not a man, yeah? So thank goodness for COVID. And what I mean by that is that it's caused these uncomfortable conversations yeah. to come out and to take place now because it needed to take place. And one thing I love since COVID that I've seen online, which has become a necessity but it's also becoming um, a comfortable space and it's becoming normality now. And that's the way, because you want it to be, you want it no, to be normal. normal. You want yeah. it to be normal to have a conversation about mental yeah. health or about black men going to therapy. And I'm liking what I see. There's a massive improvement. There there's, is. There's still a lot, there's still a lot to be done, mm. but there's a massive improvement. And I, li I like that it's now normal now that, oh yeah, I'm, I'm seeing my therapist, you know, um, and it's nice because men need a, need a say, so especially black men, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, um, I know when I went, there were things in my childhood, there were things in work, there were things on a personal level mm. that I wasn't aware of. And I'm thinking, whoa, that was deep. Do you know what I mean? Right, yeah? yeah, I mean, I agree with you. I mean, I haven't, Rob, gone and accessed um, any therapy. I haven't. Mm. Um, I think sometime I will do. I think for a lot of black men, and I think just kind of like speaking on maybe like the work that we do as well, that sometimes I think the, the, the conversations um, with black men yeah. um, in terms of their own experiences yeah. of the um, the system mm -hmm. and how um, that makes us feel, um, whether it's social services or um, the police, yeah. not always being able to have um, the space to be able to feel vulnerable because mm -hmm. the image of a black man yeah. um, in and also as well in terms of like but the stereotypes often that are out there mm. um, sometimes supersede the fact that actually black men do need to have that space. Yeah. And I think that it transcends into um, our black boys. Mm. One of the episodes that I think that me and you did, and it's more of a reflection, um, was when we were kind of speaking about knife crime. Mm. Um, and you something that is powerful that you mentioned in terms of the fact that with a lot of, um, and I'm talking about, you know, less, as black men, our, our young black boys, that they don't always like to talk and like to speak, um, you know, because actually, oh, no, I'm not mad or anything, or, you know what I'm saying to you, but actually that um, the the traumas um, that black men do go through, mm -hmm. um, sometimes I feel is not always um, taken on board or taken seriously. Mm -hmm. And I think, those internalized things that we as black men have to deal with yeah. um, as well to have that space to talk about our experiences in terms of how we have to be able to go and navigate. Yeah. Um, how that impacts rather maybe like the relationships yeah. that we may have. Mm. There's a lot of things that I, I see on social media, um, you know, and you mentioned about the fact that we're seeing a lot of black men who are talking openly about mm. their thoughts and fit. And I think it's brilliant. Mm. But there's still pockets there that actually are still not talking about yeah. their experiences. And as as black men, it, it's, it's something that I think we need to start um, accessing mm. because I think that with a lot of things that we see Rob, within our community, yeah. um, you know, um, there's a lot of thing, unresolved things with black men that we don't always have the space to be able to go and um, talk about. Yeah, yeah. Because within our community as well, to kind of speak on it, may be seen as a bit of weakness and it's not. Yeah. It should be seen um, as a strength in terms of like, you know, what is it like being a black man in the in, yeah. in, in, in the UK? What is it your experiences have been like? What about the pressures? I mean, Rob, even with me, I'll say, look, th th there's, there's, there's always going to be pressure mm. on me regardless. Yeah. yeah. There'll always be pressure on me regardless mm -hmm. um, because I know that despite where I am, mm. there's things that, I do need, do need to achieve. It's like, even right now, um, dealing with, say, for example, 
like my grandma and grandpa passing away. Mm. Yeah, which is something that's happened very, very recent. Yeah. Um, I still ain't dealt with it. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, you know, it's not even a year yet. I still haven't dealt with it. Um, and I haven't even gone to therapy to go and talk about the impact of them passing because everybody knows my grandma and grandpa were a very, very big part of my life from mm. from from the moment I was born yeah. to the moment they passed. Very influential in terms of mm. everything that I do, yeah. even being a social worker. Yeah. My grandma and grandpa were there um, when I graduated. Do you know what I mean? They both were there. They were both present. Mm. And not having them around now... Um, for the next phase of my life, it hurts, bro. Do you course, know what I mean? Of course, it's it a, hurts. It's abandonment, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And um, I haven't been able to kind of like address that. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. So I do feel that black men, that we do need to have therapy because I think there's a lot of internalized things. There's a lot of things bro, that we do internalize. Mm. Do you know what it is though, bruv? We're conditioned. Mm. Right? I we agree. Are, we are conditioned. Um, we like we was on the panel the other day and we were we talking about... Um, I think it's mental health behavior. Yeah. Right? And I was saying the other day to you that um, uh, a lot of dysfunction behavior is now normalized. Yeah. Right? Now we know it's not normalized, but what I meant by normalized is that it's, it's just, it's, it's the norm. Right. Yeah. No one's not surprised. Right. Yeah. Mm. Now black men, we're conditioned to um, ignore or to think that therapy is not important or talking about your child is not important. That's yeah, right. right. Yeah. I work with a lot of, um, uh, ex-offenders and young offenders right yeah and there's a thing called PTSD mm. right yeah and I've seen a lot of these young boys ignore 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 no, there's nothing wrong with me some of their behaviour is it's worrying it's worrying yeah it's worrying I'm thinking wow but there's a reluctancy right yeah to access the service you, no, well yeah well going to the, the service, service yeah. Right, yeah that's the bit it's the reluctancy because there's still this stigma of, oh, what are you getting there for? Yeah. Go, what are you getting there for, bruv? Yeah. No, no, oh, man. stop being a pussy, man. Yeah, stop being a waste, man. Stop being a waste, man. Yeah. Do you know what I'm coming from? I do apologize for that. Um, so it's like, we have to like, um, and another thing as well that you said early, earlier as well, you gotta remember these young people, they look up to they look up to the grime artists. They look up to the actors and the rappers and the mm. influencers. They, they, they look up to all the famous people, right? Yeah. Now, if the influencers, if influencers and the actors and the rappers are saying, nah, it's cool to go to therapy, I guarantee you these young people will start to go to therapy. Yeah. Because remember, it's who they look up to. Yeah. But then also as well, in the household as well, as fathers, brothers, uncles, whatever. Grand, whatever right, grandfathers. Yeah. Grandfathers yeah. as well, right? Yeah. We have to make it cool that, you know, it's okay to talk about what you've gone through. Do you, do you think, Rob, within our community, do you think black men haven't been afforded that space? No. Where about actually, we... we, we Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Sorry to cut you up. And, and look, I'm being open and vulnerable because I'm, I'm telling the truth. Yeah. Right here. Um, nobody in my family, none of the males in my family told me it's cool to go to therapy. Yeah, nobody told me neither. I'm just being honest with you. Right? Yeah. And I'm, I'm talking to you as a black Caribbean man. Yeah. Yeah. And I, and I can talk for many of my brethren and my friendship groups and I, mm. and I asked them and they told me the same thing as well. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's true. We're not being taught or told to go to therapy. As black men, that you should go to therapy. Yeah, yeah we're, it's true. We're, we're not being told that there is actually a safe space to talk about these things. Mm. Um, one of my friendship groups, um, in fact, no, I won't even use that example, but I'm, I'm going to use another example. Um, someone that I knew, and this was a just, and it was by chance, I went to um, a get together um, I'll drink up. <laughs> and um, <laughs> we were talking about, um, you know, we tried not to talk about work, but we ended up talking about work. So he was giving me his experience about um, being a black gay man. All right, yeah? Mm. All right. So I asked him, I said, oh, um, how did that impact things with your family and everything? He said, Robert, it was horrible. He said, it was horrible. And I ran. But you know, Robert, when I went to therapy, it opened my eyes. And he said, I'm now comfortable within my own skin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I said, okay, so um did any any of the um the males or the lead or you know or or, the, or your brothers or your or I don't know, did any of the male figures teach you or guide yeah. you in what to do? He said, Oh no, um what are you going there for? Yeah, um, it's just, true, just it's true, your, it's true. Mum. Yeah, it's true. So even for him, you know, where he's been different, right, yeah, and he's been treated different, you know, um, he felt let down. Yeah. So there's a saying, yeah. It starts at home. No, and I agree with you, Rob. And I think that for black men, 
Um, I, 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 like, I agree with you. Mm. I think that we do need a lot of therapy. Mm. And I'll go even deeper because I think also as well, um, I know we're talking about black men. Mm. It's also important that... Um, it's all races, we, 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 we all races, yeah. but particularly for us, in terms of like um, relationships mm. that we may have with our partners, or um, you know, because I also think as well that a lot of that internalized behavior, because we, uh, internalized feelings of us, yeah, we don't we don't always have the space mm. or don't access the space. It impacts those who are close to us. Oh, hundred percent right. It, it it does. Hundred um, percent. And I think it's important that we do say this because I think even von, even to like vulnerability as a black man, mm. yeah, being um, vulnerable. Do we even feel safe mm. to go to therapy to feel vulnerable? Yeah. Do you know what I mean I know for me, Rob? Even though I say that I'm going to go to therapy, and I think, mm. you know, I'm, I am going to access it because I think it's good for me to also be able to um, offload. Yeah, but guess what, bruv? You're making a good point. Um, and I don't think many, I don't think many people actually sense this or look at this. People people seem to think that you must go therapy when things are bad. <laughs> no, no, you can go when you things are good as well. Go, you also go yeah. when things are good. Things Remember, are good. Listen, there's a thing called life. Yeah, life. Mm. We, we live. We, we're, we're living. Yeah, yeah. The game of life. It's like a game, isn't it? Yeah. How are you playing the game of life? Yeah. How are you succeeding? How are you taking care of yourself? Oh, you're a new father now. Okay, how's that? How are you managing? Yeah. How are you supporting that woman? Are you understanding her? We all need gunners, bro. No, we do. Yeah, we, we do. all need gunners. We're all in different journeys and- Yeah, different stages of our lives. Of, of, of our life, do you know what I mean? Um, you made a great point. Um, uh, a, lot of my, a lot of my female friendship groups have broken up with, um, you know, guys that they may be seeing. And a lot of them say to me, Oh, he never, he, he never opened up. He never opened up, yeah. He never went to his I, I've himself. heard that a lot, yeah. He didn't, yeah. That's a common and, thing. And I've heard that a lot from a lot of my friends in terms of like, yeah. you know, we're, we're talking about black men here, innit? Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? That, you know, I've heard that, you know, when, if they've broken up, he didn't, he didn't open, he didn't speak to me. No, no. He was also, he was all very, very um, closed off or something else may have happened that's within a, concern, a, within, though, a within a relationship. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. That I think as black men as, as well, bro, even though it's good, we internalize a lot because I think a part of us is like, right, you know what, shit. No, 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 it's a concern. Concern because we feel like we can deal with shit on our own. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because actually for us to be, and it, it, it's important. It's hard, it's hard because you know, it's, I do apologize for cutting. No, 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 go on. Because bro, you see what you're saying, right? Yeah. On one part, there's also the stigma of this guy's not coping. Yeah, because he literally finds it hard to open up, open up his emotions. Yeah, but then at the same time as well, you might have a good woman, and and bro, you're you're losing that on a good woman here. Yeah, know? it's true, it's true, it's true, it's true, it's true. And I, I, and I also would say to black men as well that that we have to start talking a lot. Mm. But I think also Rob as well culturally, as well, the vulnerability. Like, cause listen. African Caribbean, yeah. So, brother, we, we, we know it's important that we say this that at times within the culture, yeah, there's times about it that the culture um, within the home environment yeah. may hinder you from being able to be vulnerable. Oh, why are you talking? Why are you speaking? Why are you crying for? Do you know what I mean? And also the pressure on being a black man mm. to do well, and when you don't, yeah. um, you know what comes with that. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? And also, just as you said, the pressure of being a black man in the society, the things that we have to go and manage. Yeah. So I think, bro, there's a lot of things that that we try and manage. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And therapy is not about mental health, but it's more about us as black men having the space to say, you know what? Mm. Um, I've I feel that I've got all this pressure yeah. on me. I feel that actually. Um, it's impact upon my relationship that I have mm. because, because bruv, like I said, we, we've got we've got a lot of um, colleagues and friends. I've got yeah. a lot of friends whereby they've been with black men, and mm. it's like he's not speaking to me. Yeah, he, like we we don't know what's happening, or mm. um, like he said everything's fine and it's not fine. Yeah, it's do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I think, bro, it's that innate pressure. I um, do you know what, right? Yeah, I think as I said before, we need you know as black men. I think, okay, so um. See men, <laughs> right, yeah. Mm. This is just in general. You know, we're very prideful. Yeah, yeah. No, we are we very, are, very prideful. We are very prideful. prideful. Yeah. To say I need help, mm. or I'm not coping, or do you know? Yeah, um, 
I'm going through a bad time in our right. Yeah. yeah. We're very prideful to, to, to say the bad things mm. or when we're not coping. But guess what? No, that's the time when you should be calling on the man dim or, 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 yeah, or it's reaching true. out with or whatever. It's true, right it's here, true, right it's here, true, right? it's true. Now, as a but in a way, brother, I'm going to say this openly, Rob. Yeah. One thing I like about the brotherhood that we've got. Yeah. I feel very safe with you mm-hmm. and my other mandem as well. Like, I feel my way, but I feel very safe with you. Yeah. And I feel that if, say, for example, I'm low, mm. like, I can be like, Rob, can I, oh, can I call you? Mm-hmm. And me and you will speak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think it also, part of having therapy as well, is about us as black men having. If there's someone that you know, you like I said, like, people, yeah, people yeah. like me and Rob, like we we we've yeah. been through a lot. We we speak to other like, all the time. Like Rob's my, big, I haven't got a big brother. Rob's my big brother. So if I feel that right, you know what, yeah, I need to speak to somebody outside of the fam. I'll just give Rob a call. Yeah. So I'm saying to you that, like for me, Rob's a safe space for me. I feel safe with him as a black man to another black man that I can say, Rob, you know what, I need advice. It's like the other day, people, yeah. Right, man, yeah. The other day, people. The other day, yeah. I, I'll tell you what is good. The other day, I got invited to an event, innit? And they asked me for my picture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They asked hey, me for my, they asked oh, me for my no. picture, yeah? So, so basically, I, there was a picture, it's the old picture that I had in it, and I, and I sent it to them. So then, Rob saw it, he called me, he's like, bro, what are you doing? He's like, what? Come on, man. How are you sort of changing yourself like that? Like, yeah. what is it? I was like, I was like Rob, he's like, no, 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 no. Like, bro, how are you sort of changing yourself? Do you know what I'm saying? But it's right. like, we've got that brotherhood whereby, mm. like, I, I, like, if I've got any deficiencies, mm. I don't feel that Rob's going to s- say to me, Nana, like, yeah, it, yeah. it's more constructive. Mm. So I think within us as black men, you are right, though. We yeah. need, like, it's about also who within your circle yeah, you're right. Hunt, yeah. that you feel That's safe with. That's and point. I think that sometimes within within Black Matters community as well, I don't think we always have- A lot don't have that. We, a, lot, a lot. And it yes. transits to our black boys that actually, 100%. they don't have like yeah. somebody who they feel yeah. is their safe space. Because like I said, therapy is a safe space, but if we're going outside of the box, mm. who is your safe space? So like me, I could say, yes, Rob is my safe space. Hey, bro, you know what I'm saying? Let me tell you something right, yeah. Um, th- this has happened- Professionally and personally, right? Yeah. Mm. Do you know the impact and how it feels when you see a grown man crying in front of you? A grown man crying, saying to you, "Like I can't cope. Um, mm. I don't want to be here. Um, you know, let them down." And, and he's talking suicide talk. Now, that's happened. That's that's happened in front of me many times, a couple, a couple of times. Mm. It made me feel very uncomfortable. No, it made me feel very, very uncomfortable. There's a lot of black men. There's a lot of there. There's a lot yeah. of black men. But that's the thing, but, though. But why does it make us feel uncomfortable, right, though? Right. Because remember, you see, men. Yeah, like being like men crying in front of men is not. It, I, I know it's, it feels awkward, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I get what um, you're saying. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. For example. Yeah, I know what you mean. So, let's, so, so let's say. Um, I don't know, one of my sisters or my aunties or my mum or my female friendship groups. If a woman was to cry in front of me... Oh, all that could you hug? Oh, listen, it's all I'm right. Like, oh, don't yeah, cry. yeah, I'm listen, come, come for like, yeah. What's, what's happened? What's yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Because as men, we're being that nurturer. And protector. Um, protector. Do you know where yeah. I'm coming from? Yeah, 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 yeah. But a man talking to a next masculine man... It's, it's like... like Bru- yeah, I know. You know and from? we shouldn't have that awkwardness. Right, but it should right, it shouldn't be awkward. Yeah, it shouldn't have that awkwardness. Right. So then how do we overcome that to make it more pure and organic where we're oh, creating we're, fantastic. You know, we're creating the safe spaces oh, to say fantastic bro, point. If you want to cry, just cry. Yeah, yeah. it's true. Talk it's true. Me, but do you know what it is, bruv? Do you know what it is though? And and this is another thing. I think what I see on social media of black men, mm. I think, bruv, it makes it hard for us to be vulnerable because mm. of what you see yeah. on social media. Mm. I think it, it plays a big part into Tough it. Tough guy image, isn't it? Tough guy image, yeah. athletic image, mm. rapper image. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so if you strip that down, yeah, it's hard for black yeah. men. You, you, yeah. You've, 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 taken away, you've taken away my, my shield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, oh yeah. If you strip that down, Rob, mm. yeah, because, it, like, because we're being open here yeah that what we see on social media of black men athletes you know rappers anything you name it mm. take that all away and say for example we know they're going through some stuff mm. for them to cry that's an image that doesn't correlate with what you see on there and i think rob also i think that's also part of it as well i'm not yeah. saying it's a bad thing i'm just saying that 
those black men that we see or influences that we see, yeah. we don't, we don't, and it's not for us to know, mm. may not see them in a vulnerable um, um, space to space go and say that, that yeah, actually, you know yeah. what, this is the this is what's going on for me as a black man. Yeah, yeah. This is what I'm dealing with as a black man. Do you know what I'm saying? Obviously, with me and Rob, social worker and 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 mentor, these are things that we would deal with mm. professionally. Do you know what I'm saying? You know, but I think Rob, if we strip it back, um, yeah, if we were to get one of those, um, you know, any one of them to go mm. and access therapy, they may go and say, "No, I don't need it. It's fine." But yeah. actually, they may need it. Yeah, yeah. But, but may not for, actually, you know what? I I, I can't I can't. Um, portray myself to be vulnerable but you know as well though right yeah I think because look for me therapy is a okay th this is my personal opinion for me therapy is a necessity mm. it's a must yeah you must go you need to go yeah right these are the words I'm using yeah necessity you must go you need to go you need to go yeah and I'll tell you the reason why right yeah. and guess what as well therapy comes in a form of a friendship group as you said before yeah as long as you've got someone right yeah that you can just like open up to uh, yeah because part of life is being able to figure it out and not getting it right is part of the journey yeah you're not always going to get it right sometimes you flop yeah mm. sometimes you don't always get it right right and more often you're probably going to make more mistakes more than good mistakes right yeah yeah right? yeah that's just the world we live in right yeah but as i said before it's also about helping the younger generation below as well right? yeah 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 because yeah. we work with a lot of unfortunately we work with, with a lot of um uh, black African Caribbean students, right? Yeah, yeah. That fill the schools in London. Let's just keep it real. Mm. And you talk to ten of them in a the room, right? Um, uh, about therapy. Ah, oh, no, no. Yeah, no, it's long. They, they, but all of them got the room. Yeah, it's maybe, long. Maybe one might stay. Yeah, but the nine of them, they're gone. They're gone. You know why? They don't want to be vulnerable. Yeah, they don't want to talk about oh. Mummy's shouting at me. Maybe my dad's beating me. Mum and dad's not together no more. So their trauma is like, no, I don't want to talk it because it's it's a reminder. It's a reminder of negative situations. I was going to jump on the back of that, yeah. So you know what you're saying, Rob? Do you feel with black men, mm. the reason why we don't go and do that, because it's triggering for us. To, in, in, 100%. It, it, it's triggering for us. Great point you make. Um, because actually, those traumas there in mm. therapy, we have to relive it. Yes. And and this is it. Great point, my brother. Yeah, we have to relive it. Say that again. Now, yeah. Massive. So so massive. so I'm so I'm gonna say it again. Massive. That what Rob just said in terms of the young people yeah. who are black African um young boys who may not want to access therapy mm. because of what's going on, is because I think the therapy for us, mm. we have to relive mm. our experiences yeah. and we don't feel safe enough to relive yes. it. And it's not to say that Rob, that's a that's a negative thing, because I get that everyone wants to protect it's themselves. Facts, it's facts. Yeah. But I think that's all the more reason why we should be going to it. Because yeah. actually the our young black boys grow up to be teenagers and men mm. grow up to eventually become fathers um and get into relationships Should and all these one second bruv and all these things bruv they impact mm. because the reason why i say that is because i think there's times about actually i've spoken to maybe colleagues mm. and friends yeah. and they've had experiences with black men and they're like you know what it's mm. not good yeah. experiences and they're always going to say no, the same thing. Talk, no. Yeah, and they're always, actually, yep, they always going to say that he needs therapy. Yeah. Um, because I think, Rob, and it's not that I think I know mm. that because we don't have the space or are not accessing the space, mm. yeah, <laughs> that, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, that, what it does is that that's redirected into our relationships. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> it's not even loud. It's not even funny. Mm. No, it's no, in fact, no, it's fun. No, it's not funny. So, um, one of my female friendship groups was seeing a gentleman. I go, why did you break up? Yeah, I think he needs therapy. But the thing is, this is a this is this is a generic thing. Yeah, that you. It doesn't matter whether it's a black woman or a white woman. Yeah, yeah. This is all women, right? Yeah, from different nationalities. So sometimes they might be seeing a gentleman, and there might be some red flags. And the red flags are maybe he doesn't open up. Maybe he's got a bit of a temper. Maybe um, he's anxious about certain things. He he portrays a particular behavior around this woman, right? Yeah, and um, she'd say, "Listen, you're a nice guy, but yeah, me and you can't work. We can't work. Mm. We can't run." Oh, what do you mean? Why can't we run? Oh, I think you need to go. You've got a lot going on. But what she's trying to say is, you need to go to therapy. Yeah, but yeah, but she won't say that, or she might blatantly say, "Nah, listen, mm. you need to go and talk to someone." Yeah, right? but yeah, because also as well, to women. Specific behavior is a red flag, bruv. Mm. Yeah. But also as well, actually, sometimes when a woman is saying that, she's actually trying to help you, bruv. I, I agree. 
Yeah, I agree. I agree. Some men, as men, sometimes we need to hear, we need to um, listen and hear what and hear the hard truth. Yeah. You need to go and sort yourself out. Go and see um, Millie in room number five downstairs, right? Yeah, yeah. One hour every Wednesday, right? Yeah. Yeah, but then Robert, you see what you just said just now, though. And it may come across as patronizing. As a black man, I'm supposed to say that. Yeah. That may come across as patronizing. Well, it does. Yeah, it does. It and does. so, how, how how do we as black men respond to that? Because it goes down. It also goes down to like emotional intelligence as well. Oh. In, in, it, it does. You know what I'm saying? Mad. That it, 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 you know, and how you are going to take that. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I think one thing for me, where I kind of want to say and want to end, is that I think for black men, I think definitely we should ask, we should go to therapy, mm. and I think um, as black men, we need to be able to have other black men to, to be our safe spaces mm. as well. Because I think for black men, there, there is a lot for our black women to give us a safe space. And I'm not going to say that black women don't. Hey, do you know, um, I'm going to, I'm going to use this as a, as a great, so I'm going to use this as a great example. So, mm. um, uh, young Jeezy and Neo Long. Mm. I, don't know if you, I saw it. Ex phenomenal. Yeah, yeah, like that. Do you see what I'm saying? Absolutely. Yeah. But that phenomenal. for me was a therapy session. Phenomenal. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. So phenomenal. So if any of you watched that, yeah, um, I think like black men, we need to be able to give other black men safe spaces, mm. not to kind of say, oh rah, you're going therapy. Mm. Oh no, bro, you know what? Therapy, I'll even come with you. Yeah. I'll, yeah. e I'll even come with yeah. you Not to see it as Do you know what I'm saying That's what we need to do yeah, yeah. Because I think that There is a lot On black women To Give us a safe space And I 100%. think black women They do give us safe spaces 100%. They do I'm not gonna say black But I think There's a, there's a also A responsibility on black mm. men To give other black men um, The safe space Like I said with you bro When If I If I If I feel something mm -hmm. And I feel I need advice on that Rob's my safe space mm. as a black man, another black man. I could go to Rob or yeah. my brothers. I can say to them, Yeah, man, listen, I need advice or something. Hey, but bruv, do, you know I mean? bruv, do you know another thing as well, right? I think sometimes people get the wrong idea because if you think of counselor, therapist, mm. psychotherapist, um, you know, all them jargon and, and, and <laughs> jobs and everything, right? Yeah, you do have to be vulnerable. Yeah. So people not already, oh my gosh, I have to be vulnerable. And it's what you said earlier, oh my gosh, I don't want to, I don't want to, um, I don't want to strip it back. I don't. I don't want to put up the the, the trigger. Yeah, 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 like yeah, yeah. Because talking about your childhood, it it, it may be a serious trigger. Very, very serious. There, there, there yeah. might have been abuse. Yeah, you might have lost one of your parents. It's true. That's a that, you know the abandonment you haven't gotten over. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So um, but yeah um, but listen, overall man, overall man, listen, listen, go and check it out. It, yeah, it's fantastic. It's a game changer. It actually gives you the tools to. Have better guidance with your life decisions, yeah, and um, and your relationships and as yeah, well. Yeah, that's it, yeah. yeah. So honestly, man, them listen. Like I said, yeah, because this is, you know, as two black men mm. here, we, we're just saying it that listen, don't feel that therapy um, is a negative. See, it's a positive, and also say that for other black men, we need to give us as brothers the safe space. Like I said, Rob is my safe space. Mm. I don't. I've got no shame in saying that on this yeah. podcast. Yeah. Professionally and personally, yeah. Rob is my safe space. I've got other man them that yeah. are my brethren who are my safe spaces. And I feel if I'm at a point where I need to speak to them, mm. they'll give me the advice and guide on my low point. Yeah. So as black men, let's give each other um, our safe spaces mm. too. Yeah. And I'm that's gonna what I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to end on. Yeah, man. Big up. Hey, listen, you know the thing already, like and subscribe. Subscribe and share. Yeah. Peace.